Hello, I'm Caroline, and this is Energy Balance Vinyasa. Before we begin, I will cover some important health and safety information that you should know. Before beginning this or any other exercise program, you should consult with a physician to make sure that practicing yoga is appropriate for you. If you have high or low blood pressure, spinal problems, or any other medical conditions or injuries, consult with your doctor to see if any modifications are necessary for your practice. If you are pregnant, you should be in a prenatal yoga class. If during the practice you feel any pain or discomfort, you can return to the previous pose, take a child's pose, or come into supine bent knees. You should avoid this pose until a physician can be consulted to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Be safe and enjoy your practice. Now let's begin. Come to standing at the top of your mat with your feet placed about hip width apart for Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Your arms should be at your sides with the palms open and facing forward. Draw your shoulder blades down and back, opening the chest. Engage your core, drawing the navel in towards your spine. Gaze forward. Now inhale deeply. Then as you exhale, create a soft sound by slightly constricting your throat. It should sound like a whisper or a sigh, but while keeping the mouth closed, contract your lower abdomen and navel at the end of the exhale. Then try to maintain this subtle contraction as you inhale, allowing your breath to rise and expand up into the chest and the rib cage, all the way up to your collarbones. This is one round of Ujjayi breath. Repeat this process a total of 10 times, letting the breath flow smoothly and evenly like the waves on an ocean. In 
Inhale. Ujjayi. Exhale. Now, as you continue with your practice, try to maintain this breathing technique, or you can return to it whenever you are feeling challenged to help you breathe and focus in the pose. High prayer. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead. Alongside your ears, bringing your palms to touch. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Keeping an open chest. Inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Up through the crown of your head. Exhale. Draw the navel in towards the spine. And gaze up towards your hands. Prayer hands and Jolly Mudra. Inhale, then exhale, and lower the hands to heart center, gazing straight ahead. Inhale, lengthen through the spine to the crown of your head. Exhale, draw your shoulder blades down and back opening the chest and engage your core by drawing the navel in towards your spine then inhale and reach your hands up and overhead your arms alongside your ears with your palms together for high prayer Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale, and start to fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down. Keep your back straight and engage your core and quadriceps as you fold. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Inhale, exhale, bring your forehead towards your shins or knees, and rest your hands on the floor by your feet, avoid locking the knees, gaze forward towards your shins, standing half forward bend, Arda Uttanasana. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your back straight, drawing your shoulder blades down and back. 
Exhale. Engage your core. Inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Utita Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Then exhale and step your left leg back into a lunge. Place your hands on either side of the right foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel is lifted and points up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Revolved Lunge Pose Parivrita Uthita Ashwa Sanchalanasana Inhale, exhale, and firmly plant your left hand on the mat. Sink your hips down and slightly deepen the bend in your front knee. Then inhale and lift your right arm out to the side and up to the sky, opening up the chest. Keep your hips squared pointing down towards the mat and keep a slight micro bend in the left elbow and knee. Gaze up towards your right hand. Inhale and reach up through the right hand. Then exhale and sweep the right arm down, bringing your hand back to the mat on the outside of your right foot or lunge pose. Place your hands on either side of the right foot. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale. Exhale and lower your left knee down to the mat. Untuck your toes bringing your shin and the top of your foot flat against the mat. Check to make sure that the right knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the left hip through to the crown of your head. Crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead and lift your torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Let your arms frame your ears and the palms face each other. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back and open the chest. Inhale, maintain a straight spine and slightly tuck the chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Gaze straight ahead. Exhale. Inhale. Reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down, bringing them back to the mat on either side of the right foot. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the left hip through to the crown of your head. 
exhale, untuck the back toes, then inhale and lift the back knee into a lunge. Plank pose, Balakasana. Exhale, inhale, and step the right foot back beside the left. Exhale, and shift the shoulders forward so they are in line with the wrists. Root down through the balls of your feet. Spread your fingers and root down through your palms. Avoid locking the elbows or knees. Gaze down towards the mat. Draw your shoulders down and back and keep the core strongly engaged. Drawing your navel up towards your spine. Inhale. Untuck your toes, bringing the tops of your feet to the mat. Sink your hips down while arching through the back and lifting the chest. Press down through your hands and keep your hips and thighs lifted off the mat for upward facing dog Urdhva Mukha Svanasana then exhale flip the feet tuck the toes and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog Addo Mukha Svanasana. Press through the heels of the hands. Draw the navel in and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Tripada Addo Mukha Svanasana. Exhale and step your right foot in towards the center of your mat. Engage your core, drawing your navel in towards your spine. Then inhale and lift your left leg and reach your toes to the sky. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your neck soft and in line with the spine. Gaze towards your right foot or ankle. Keep the lifted leg in line with the hips, the shoulders, and the arms creating one long line from your heel to your hands. Utita Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Exhale, draw the left knee in towards your nose. Then set your left foot down in between your hands. Adjust the right foot so that the heel is in line with the right hip for lunge pose. Keep your back foot flexed so that it rests on the ball of the foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel is lifted and points up towards the ceiling. Avoid locking the knee. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Crescent High Lunge Ashta Chandrasana and keeping your legs where they are. Exhale, engage the core. Then inhale 
and sweep the arms up overhead while lifting the torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Your arms should frame your ears and the palms face each other. Keep your hips squared and keep a slight micro bend in the back knee. Draw the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, engage the core. Gaze straight ahead. Inhale, reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down, bringing them back to the mat on either side of the left foot for lunge pose. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel is lifted and points up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale and step the right foot up next to the left and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor for standing half forward bends. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Then exhale and fold forward for standing forward bend. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your core and take a slight bend in the knees. Then inhale and start to rise, sweeping your arms up and overhead as you come up to standing. Your arms should be alongside your ears with your palms together for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale and lower the hands to heart center to prayer hands gazing straight ahead draw your shoulder blades down and back and engage your core then inhale and reach your hands up and overhead your arms alongside your ears with your palms together for high prayer. Exhale and sweep your arms down by your sides to Tadasana. Draw your shoulders down and back. Engage the core and gaze forward. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead alongside your ears, bringing your palms to touch or heard Vahastasana. Exhale and lower the hands to heart center. Then inhale and reach your hands up and overhead, your arms alongside your ears with your palms together or high prayer. Exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down, 
keeping a straight spine as you fold for Uttanasana. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor. Ardha Uttanasana. Then exhale and step your right leg back into a lunge position. Revolved lunge pose. Harivrita Uttita Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Inhale, exhale, and firmly plant your right hand on the mat. Sink your hips down and slightly deepen the bend in your front knee. Then inhale and lift your left arm out to the side and up to the sky, opening up the chest. Keep your hips squared, pointing down towards the mat, and keep a slight micro bend in the right elbow and knee. Gaze up towards your left hand. Exhale. Inhale and reach up through the left hand. Then exhale and sweep the left arm down, bringing your hand back to the mat on the outside of your left foot for lunge pose. Inhale. Exhale and lower your right knee down to the mat. Untuck your toes, bringing your shin and the top of your foot flat against the mat. Inhale. Check to make sure that the left knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the right hip through to the crown of the head. Crescent lunge on Janayasana. Exhale. Engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up overhead and lift your torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Let your arms frame your ears and the palms face each other. Exhale. Draw the shoulder blades down and back and open the chest. Inhale, maintain a straight spine and slightly tuck the chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Gaze straight ahead. Exhale. Inhale, reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down bringing them back to the mat on either side of the left foot. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the right hip through to the crown of the head. Exhale. Untuck the back toes. Then inhale and lift the back knee into a lunge. Exhale. Inhale and step the left foot back beside the right. Exhale and shift the shoulders forward so they are in line with the wrists for plank pose. Root down through the balls of your feet. 
Spread your fingers and root down through your palms. Avoid locking the elbows or knees. Gaze down towards the mat. Untuck your toes and inhale to upward facing dog. Then exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Three legged dog. Tripada Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale and step your left foot in towards the center of your mat. Engage your core. Drawing the navel in towards your spine. Then inhale and lift your right leg and reach your toes to the sky. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your neck soft and in line with the spine. Gaze towards your left foot or ankle. Keep the lifted leg in line with the hips, the shoulders, and the arms. Creating one long line from your heel to your hands. Exhale. Draw the right knee in towards your nose. Then set your right foot down in between your hands. Adjust the left foot so that the heel is in line with the left hip for lunge pose. Crescent High Lunge Ashta Chandrasana And keeping your legs where they are. Exhale Engage the core, then inhale and sweep the arms up and overhead while lifting your torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Your arms should frame your ears and the palms face each other. Keep your hips squared and keep a slight micro bend in the back knee. Draw the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, engage the core. Gaze straight ahead. Inhale, reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down, bringing them back to the mat on either side of the right foot for lunge pose. Inhale and step the left foot up next to the right and lift up halfway keeping your fingertips to the floor for standing half forward bend. Then exhale and fold forward for standing forward bend. Inhale, exhale, engage your core and take a slight bend in the knees. Then inhale and start to rise, sweeping your arms up and overhead as you come up to standing. For Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale to prayer hands. Then inhale and reach your hands up and overhead for high prayer. Exhale and sweep your arms down by your sides to Tadasana. 
Draw your shoulders down and back. Engage the core and gaze forward. Remain in this final pose for a few more moments. Breathing deeply, feeling the connection between the soles of your feet and the earth, letting it ground you, feeling solid, steady, and strong. This concludes the practice. I wish you peace, contentment, and bliss. Om Shanti Santosha Ananda